you're just brave like not even so much a hair feed but it's just in general you're just a brave girl like you don't have you don't hold nothing back you don't you don't feel no way you do things to make you happy and you don't care what anyone else thinks and that is exactly what i want and i've got that perfectly and to be honest the way how things look now i want to change it for the world and <coughs> since cutting off my hair excuse me i've never felt so confident i never felt so resilient i've never felt so happy i feel more beautiful than i did when i had the weave or wig on do you know what I mean? And I mean, I'm I'm not steering away my business, or I'm not steering away people not to have um, wigs on or nothing. But I wanted my hair to be, you know, I just wanted a change, and my hair was not getting anywhere. So I said, you know what, V, you need to kind of do something about it. And I said, you know what, forget it. I am going to cut it off. And my confidence has beamed my happiness i mean i woke up this morning last night i was so happy nothing in, i felt like nothing in the world can worry me now and this is what this style has done for me and i then decided said you know what in this is it i'm happy i went to bed last night i didn't go to bed till about after one um setting my daughter to bed and whatever and i woke up this morning so positive so happy it was amazing I, I i can't fault enough how happy i am with the journey i am on and feeling how i am now i may keep my hair like this for a very long time um i'm going back i'm as i said i was going to, i'm going to the barbers and i'm gonna have them skinny up i want it evenly done i want it i want to be bold 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 um you know and being as i've been away from youtube for a long time because as you know i'm a mother i have a three-year-old daughter she's not been very well i had to focus on her i had to concentrate on her i had to concentrate on her welfare and her being and her health everything and so i rarely had any chance to actually you know had the opportunity to focus on you know do my youtube channel but i'm here now and i'm here and I can't fault it enough but <clears throat> the next question people were asking me is um will it suit me because i've got a big forehead i've got a wide face i have a small up top my a top of my head is small but then my face is quite wide let me just explain this to you <clears throat> a lot of people have different face shapes and different looks and different you know body types um i've seen big women bigger than me doing this and they've rocked it you just have to know how you style it is how you know how to short hair is basically nothing basically you have nothing right you just gotta know one thing you have and the only thing i could say to you right now that can pull off a style like mine is confidence once you've got confidence nothing can stop you if you're gonna have this style i have in now and feeling very insecure you won't pull it off the way you're supposed to and i say this to people a lot and a lot of people are happy and supportive and glad of my courage and i want to share this with people and with my no hair journey i mean it's been amazing i mean i can't i mean i've only had my hair cut last night i've, I've just done this last night um what well, like i was saying with confidence you've got to have confidence and if you do not have confidence to pull off this type of style don't do it if you're not a person that even though you may have you could have healthy hair beautiful long hair down to your back and then you you just don't want it anymore just think long and hard before you cut your hair off because people can say oh your hair will grow back and whatever whatever but what you've got to realize is although the hair may grow back i cut mine for a reason it wasn't because of a trend or whatever i cut mine off for a reason you've got to know your reasons to why you're cutting your hair off if your hair is beautiful if your hair is healthy if your hair is blunt you don't need to cut it off just maintain your ends treat 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 your hair a lot of people just think oh what is the point of treatment treatment is essential it is essential it's like food is essential to us because it's, it's an energy we use we need for our bodies so it's the same thing with our hair we need to put up put the pro it's basically putting the protein back in your hair so you gotta make sure you look after it but for those who are wishing to shave their hair off like what i did make sure you think about it because hair can grow back yes but when it fits not necessary don't do it 
that is my advice to you um a next question was uh how would you style how would you rock um how would you rock your style like with you know how would you rock clothing with your hair with hair like with a style like mine you can absolutely rock anything from a off shoulder sling shoulder a string vest turtleneck backless dress long sleeve dress short sleeve no strap dress anything you can rock a short style with there is no limitations to having a hairstyle like mine anything you wear anything you put on it will go well as i said as well as well, as long as you whatever you wear it doesn't matter but when you're confident with your look nothing else matters i'm so confident it's unreal i feel sexy i feel sexy it's unreal do you know what I mean? Um, but with styling, you wear it with ever. You can even wear a bomber jacket and it looks good. Do you know what I mean? You can wear any style and it looks good. Nothing is, there is no limit to that at all. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. There's no limitations to that at all. Um, as well as keep maintaining. There's not a lot of maintenance when it comes to doing your hair because the maintenance is get up and go. That's it. You may have to wash it if you're getting itchy. Make sure you know you wash your hair because your scalp can flake. If you've got flaky scalp, um, if you suffer with um, um, flaky scalp, um, I am not so familiar with that. But if you know if it's becoming very bad, I suggest and I say and I was taught this as well: seek medical attention. If it's a very if it's a persistent thing that no products is helping it. Um, seek medical help they have kind of they have treatments to help with flaky skin or flaky scalp all them things there um but with my hair with, with style with, with the clothing you wear and the styling you, you can rock it with anything there's no limit and that is me personally telling you that anyone else thinks differently well that's their opinion but i'm just saying for me there's no limitation i'm wearing an off shoulder top and how beautiful I feel because it's brought more attention to the shoulder, the neck feels more slim and slender, the colour bones are smooth and if you notice. But yeah, um it, that's also the main thing anyway. Um what else people have asked me now? There's a lot of things people were asking me and um how would they you know as i think i've covered most basis of it but i'm gonna just give an encouragement because i'm not really gonna stay long on youtube just for the simple fact of i have things to do and i thought i squeeze in the time while i can just talk to you guys um the main thing i could say to you guys is um not just your hair and everything be confident in anything you do no matter what it is be very confident be very happy with you be happy with where you are and how you deal with life it could be as simple as i had my nails done today be happy you got a new job be happy you had a salary new, um, be happy anything it doesn't matter be happy because <clears throat> right about now my hair must this, this my style i have now has made me feel so good and i've never been so happy in my life it's it's amazing it's unreal and and this is what i want to share with people and you know my sister i don't know if i mentioned but my sister's left a message on my whatsapp and last night we were talking and she was shocked that i actually decided to shave my hair off and then she's saying to me you know what fee you don't realize how much of an inspiration you are and i'm like really and to be honest it brought tears to my eyes because hearing my sister saying that it means that i'm doing the right thing and i'm doing something right and that is the best that is the best feeling i could ever have in the world that i can have that impact on someone and that's all i want and that's all i want to share with you people that are subscribing or have subscribed or watching because this is important self-love self-respect and self-integrity is all we need do you know what I mean? And as my hair starts to grow, I will be using a lot of natural products. I will share them in my next video. Um, and I've got a lot of things I'm going to be doing. Um, the next video I'm planning to do is a makeup tutorial of how you want to put makeup on during a short hair style like mine. Um, I'm going to turn my glasses off, sorry. 
as you can see, um, I've done a subtle makeup. I'm not a makeup artist, but I thought I'd give you a little highlight on how I will do my makeup. If I do it wrong, sorry, I don't know these things too tough. I only know about here. But this is the, the style that I'm rocking. Um, so I've done my contouring and all that when I was so big as unreal. Um, eyeshadow, I'm not that great with that. I just flung something on and put an eyeliner on and stuff. Um, something subtle, you can even wearing bright red lipstick it brings it out it's, it, it's proper amazing it's back in. let's put it that way um but yeah even down to makeup make it subtle don't overly do your makeup but a lot of people can pull off the whole overly done makeup not me though because i'm not face so i'm just not going to tempt that whatsoever um but yeah I think I'm going to be done here because um, I think I've covered up everything I needed to regarding my hair journey. I thought I'd share that I'm going bold. Um, I will be keeping it on all hair basis. There's nothing outside of that I'm going to do. It's only strictly hair. Anything else you guys want to know or speak on, um, add me on Facebook, Fifi Dior. Because um, I'll be doing a lot of live chats that will be outside, like basically like lifestyles, anything, any subject you guys want me to talk about, I will talk about it on the, on the live chat on Facebook. Um, yeah, um, quickly, um, I think you may notice my glasses. Um, this is my glasses. Um, I bought these from a lady called, um, she's my homegirl as well, called Legacy Lace. I mean, when I mean Legacy Lace, she's a legacy, you get me? And if you look at these glasses here, these are gold rimmed um, glasses, um, cost me £13. Because um, I want it on the next day delivery, uh, it was extra, so I paid £17. But if you look at them, they are beautiful, see, very elegant, very street, very urban. Her collections are very urban and street, and that is the thing I like about her, her trends. Um, but uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm gonna cut it short. I'm not gonna stay long. But if you follow her on Instagram at Legacy Lace, that's her Instagram name. I will put everything under the description. Follow me on Instagram, hairstress underscore by underscore Phoebe. Facebook, hairstress by Phoebe. In Twitter, hairstress by Phoebe. All of that will be underneath. Make sure you subscribe, share my videos, like. Press, press the notifications as well to get updates on my new videos that I will be uploading. So anything else you guys want to know, don't hesitate to email me on hairstressbyfifi at gmail.com. Don't forget that guys. Sorry I had to cut it short. It was just really a supposed to be a warm up video. I was supposed to do for 10 minutes but I've done like 18 minutes. Um, but as most of all guys, thank you for the support. Thank you for the compliments. I really appreciate it. But most of all, you guys have a good day. Take care now.